Let's see what we can see for the last time, I guess, if it's the epilogue. Oh, it's snowing. Sweet. Huh? I wonder if we'll ever be a booming town again. Those guys last night were like, deluded. It'd be really nice if there was a god. I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like, proud of us all. We're having good ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good ass town. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Selmars! I've had a really weird night. Hey, May. What's up, Selmars? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It, it's the caffeine. You ever take pills that make you pee? It's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Yep, caffeine is a diuretic. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache, or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Nice. Alright. Go. Just go up the fucking stairs, please. Go up the stairs. Have fun. There. Thank you. Who's Porchman? Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Eh, it'll be alright. It'll be a mite bit better than the shit that I've just been through. Mr. Chazikov! Can we look at the stars one more time? This is all the lasts for this video game. I should start doing my own laundry. Yeah, sometime. Eventually. Everything's always a Mr. Chaskov! Hey, me. Hey, Mr. Chaskov. Any more Death Stars we can look at? One more. Nice. Still with the goddamn sun. Uh, pretty close, Kurt. Got it. Let us consult the guide. Oh, what the? The fire maker. <clears throat> the fire maker. The fire maker. A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it for light and warmth. Sounds festive. It sounds like survival. Hmm. The star makes me want to cry. Crying on my roof. Do you wish to talk about it? Nah, it's fine. It, is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all? Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them, and named them. <clears throat> Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a, a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars. Or name them. But we made, we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. <clears throat> something about a story having really happened. Because hearing it happened to you. That's it. Nice. It's not bad. I like that saying. That's a nice saying. Oh, damn. Got them all. Nice. That's a beautiful sky. 
Did I back out of this? Yeah, I guess so. So what now? Super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. You come. I will make the hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. It really does. I want to see a super moon. Super moons are awesome. I saw them a couple times. Uh, last couple times they happened. They're huge. Kind of freaks some people out though. It's like, whoa. The moon's coming at us. No, it's not. Just a fucking phenomenon. It's an awesome phenomenon, but it's just a phenomenon. Chill out, bro. Blam. See you later, Mr. Cheskov. See you soon, Stargazer. Nice. Epsky. Stargazer. What's up, man? When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. Oh man, come on, you actually got a good one at that. What's up, Mr. Brogy man? Alright. What else is down here? Hey! You guys are down here. Sweet. I can't talk to you. You're giving me the back. Nice. What's up, teens? Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, alright? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. I wish those two playing the music would shut the F up. Hey. Watch it. Your fucking mouth, you filthy teenager. Eh. Never mind, they're, they're alright. There's kids. It's whatever. But those two are making music for me. Keeping the jams going. Oh no. No, it's just this, bro. Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? No. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. A bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you a Smelters fan? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Go Smelters? Go Smelters. Go Smelters. Yeah, man. Yeah, alright, Smelters, bro. I hope he finds a new friend. Hey, taco buck. Oh, the taco buck. So you're a taco dude now. Mino is hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding this sign out in the snow. Not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There is snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good, I like tacos. Everyone likes tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who does not love tacos, my good man. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. <gasps> she will pay. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all this general region. Pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. It actually does sound really good. Watching your health? Try out all lettuce taco. That does, no, mm -mm, nope. No, I refuse. You defile the taco, sir. Get out of here, I'm working, kid. Right. Holy crap. A, ah, uh, a taco place this is the best thing. That's happened to this town since they got rid of all those snakes in the diner. We got internet. We were still using cyberfish until like two years ago. Because it's eternally two decades behind here. It takes you three days to torn a movie. 
takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Hell yeah, Taco Buck. Oh my god, they deliver. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. God damn right. Ori. So the two... Uh, hello? Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's what's it been like, being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda? No. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know something big did happen. You know something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today. And like, I've learned something? I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well... In my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. Sometimes, you gotta wait a while and see what com what come of it, what comes of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, mate. <laughs> I don't know, I can't do that, that's weird. Okay, Mr. Janitor. Wait, how do you know my name? Hey. You okay? Hey. Heard you were, like, in the hospital or something. <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Uh, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles? Alright, you don't have to tell me. I'm literally not lying to you. So you're really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Oh, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh good, that's good. I wonder if they'll ever figure out who messed up the dudes. The dudes? The mural, in the tunnel. Oh, I did that. I fucking knew it! What? Why? I don't know. That's not a reason. Why do you care so much? It's the dudes. The dudes. The dudes are sacred. It's the dudes. You don't mess with the dudes like that. They're like a part of this place. This entire place is royally messed up. And nobody cares. I wanted someone to notice things aren't okay. This town is like a horror movie that never stops. And it's not even a good one. Yeah, it might suck, but it's our horror movie, and that's kind of cool, right? What kind of movie would you want it to be? And that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, but... Yeah, I know. I have the same thing inside of me. The thing? The thing. I feel like no one cares. Everything just sucks forever. There's thing, thing coming for us, happening to us. Yeah, but like, this is an advice I'm good at taking, but sometimes things are big enough and bad enough. They, they, they're un that they're unkillable is I think what they meant to say. They, they're unkillable. But you know, life goes on. Yeah, that's not really comforting. Hm. Well, I'm still working out a better pep talk for myself too. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, does your family do stuff for the holidays? My dad's usually away on Thanksgiving, but he's home for the longest night. Would you come do Thanksgiving at my house? Oh no, 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 no. Come on. We have four chairs and there's only three of us. That other chair usually just has lunk on it. Has junk on it, not lunk on it. No, 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 I can't. Why not? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hey, hey, okay, we can talk about it later. Thank you. 
You okay? Can I do anything? No, it's cool. I just need to sit here and be quiet for a while. Okay, I'll leave you alone then. See you tomorrow, probably. May? Yep. Thanks for hanging out with me. No problem, kid. Try not to, like, burn something down in the meantime. <laughs> I'll see ya. Later, Lori. You're cool. Nope. Didn't check it out. What's that? Fuck it up. There we go. Is there anything new? We'll be able to climb this soon. Once it gets icy. Enjoy it while um, with a last spay. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. Hey, Pastor K. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things, but you tried. All we can do, and God will show up when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. Need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. Alright, Pastor K. Alright, let's go talk to Greg. Let's do one last band practice. Watch me fuck it all up. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like... Re relevant. Well, look who's lived... Well, look who's live and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. You wanna get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah. I didn't find Jerem. I don't know if he is even around. Or if I just missed stuff with him. I, I look for him every day, man. God, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse than summer. Oh wow, there's a pentagram on this sticker. I can't read the band name on it. Cops Driller? I guarantee you it's not Cops Driller. Maybe it's like a German band with a name in English. Sounds like that. Guten Tag, wir are Cops Driller. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. That's not, you know, close enough. I'll beat his in. I don't know how to say that. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs. Since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Greg's a nice person. Do you not think they'll last or something? Uh, Greg's a nice person. Oh yeah, he definitely is. But he's also bratty and irresponsible and has, like, zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. And he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets. Who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you've thought this out. Before you came back. 
They were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. Yeah, I suppose so. Alright. So, like, how are you? I'm, uh, good? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here, though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads. The whole cosmic horror thing. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads in this town. Or was. Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe they even existed. They even exist or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Hmm. Yup. I don't know. I kind of understand them in a, weird, in a weird way. Really. It's like... A porch light that's on. And there are all these bugs around it. And then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me back, way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. God, I can't even wrap my head around these past two weeks. I think that's pretty understandable, May. Remember that story, uh, Adina and the Frozen Lake? Isn't it Adina and the Forest God? Okay, whatever. There were these weird teens. I don't even remember that part of the story. No, dummy, this part actually happened. I know, I was joking. I don't know how to interpret jokes today. Okay, so you saw some teens. Anyway, they were being all spooky. They told me I'd see some pentagrams, and then it happened. I think they're like witches or something. You think they're, uh, psychic? I don't know. I think they're just weird. But I saw the last pentagram when we were down there last night. When we were down there last night. It was like in the tunnel supports where the hole was. Angus would laugh at that. Sam just pattern seeking. Yeah, that's Angus. He'd say it nicely, though. It didn't really register much with me at the moment. But, like, in that story, there's, like, a dead ast astronomer or something. And they're, like, a reflection in the ice. And there's this star they can't see until they're dead. Yeah, the ghost star. And if you saw a reflection of the ghost star, it'd be like a pentagram. That is true. I don't know. There's this other kid, Lori Mayer, Lori My Mayers. There's supposed to be an E there. I remember her name was spelled M E Y E R S. We were hanging out by the tracks, so you're just hanging out with teenagers all over the place. Oh hush. So Lori like squishes these metal, little metal dudes on the train tracks, and they become like these cool little monsters. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Lori's pretty rad. But watching her do that, it felt like this, uh, ritual. Like, what was that old magic where they tried to make gold out of shit? Alchemy. Yeah, it was like alchemy. He was like doing magic. So you're saying you've met like four witches. Not real ones, but... I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at. When I felt like everything was over, like there was no hope. Remembering like ghost stars and Adina and teen witches and Lori making monsters out of toy people and real trains just suddenly felt like life was happening and teens were doing weird magic so things couldn't be that hopeless this is like those inspirational stories religious people put in books and like old people about how angels like stopped a car from taking or sold them a house for almost no money. Except your angels are teen dipshits. You work with what you have, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so? Have you had any new, uh, rat problems at the shop? Uh, yeah, how do you...
did you know? I heard there were some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. Well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just gonna be more of them. Hope springs, rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about... What? We should, like, do a road trip... To where? Not west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And they sell barbecue. And you can see, like, the world's largest brogue. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could? Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. This is actually kind of a gift. <laughs> Hell yeah, Mayday. God damn this door! I think God already has. There they are. Hey, you guys. Sup, nerds? It's you who are the nerds. How do you get Angus out of work? I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. <laughs> wow. I mean, he did in real life, too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so... I didn't really know, Casey. Yeah? I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably? No? Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? No, you're right. The truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Rock out with our cocks out, I guess? Can we think about it tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever. When I was down there last night. When I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future. Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. <laughs> Finally, you admit it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt, comple I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on. And when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second. Then it was gone. You're getting somewhere really deep and good. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza. Yeah. Good enough. Or at least. I love you guys. Oh, man. Holy crap. Uh, I didn't get an I didn't get to talk to freaking Germ one more time. I wanted to. Dang it. I got a like final send off from like almost everyone else, but not Germ. Oh Jesus Christ. There was a freaking murder cult. That was the big spooky scary thing. Holy crap. I was not expecting that at all. 
Oh, man. Oh, that was cool. I feel like you need to lie down or something after that. That was heavy, man. But we solved it. Murder cult. Solved, like, what happened to Casey. Stopped the murder cult. There are dudes dying in a mine right now, suffocating to death, and or possibly eating each other. Who knows? But fuck them. Um, so we, we came home after having a nervous breakdown. Had more nervous breakdowns. Got back in touch with my old friends. Freaking disgust. Saw a dude kidnap a kid to throw into a pit to feed some sort of possibly existing Cthulhu monster or something. And then we fucking uh, took on the murder cult because they're like, hey, we need you to be the new murder cult. And we were like, no, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. And after they let us leave, the dude who fucking held a grudge from being shot in the arm with a crossbow bolt by Greg, which fucking high five on that shit. Goddamn Greg to the goddamn rescue. Makes me kind of wish I had done this playthrough, um, spending time with Greg. But, B was still cool. B was still great. I, I, her, the journey with her was still pretty deep and pretty cool. Eco the cat? Yeah, man, that was, that was intense. That was a fucking, that was a circus fire there at the end, but it, it came together. That was cool. Um, I guess the credits are gonna keep going. But like, holy crap. We found a murder cult and we destroyed a murder cult. And then life just goes on. I don't think I really solved May's whole issue of like, her nervous breakdowns and stuff, but I think she f figured it out there at the end when she confronted, I don't know if confronted is the right word, that Cthulhu monster or like passed out or something, I'm not sure. I had kind of a revelation there and then it was all good. Hey, Sharkle. <laughs> was he important? I don't know, I never used him or did anything with him. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one.